So what we are going to do today is just uh, show you the difference between um, a 180 firing pin and the new SRV2 firing pin uh, that you should be receiving in the mail if you've already uh, purchased one, uh, an SRV2 Siberian. And I will show you how to change out the pin. So it's very easy and really it's almost toolless. Um, you probably need, you may need a punch of some sort, or I'm just going to use a little screwdriver and you need something to, um, probably hit that punch. So a hammer earlier, I was using the back of a frying pan, which worked fine as well. So I'm going to, uh, clear the rifle first. It's clear. And I am now going to, uh, basically do the, a field strip. And I'm just going to take the bolt carrier out. Um, once that bolt carrier out is out, um, all we really need to do is punch out the firing pin retaining pin. Uh, so these, the ones we use are fairly stiff. We make these uh, ourselves. Um, so I'm just going to use a little screwdriver and a hammer. Give that a little punch out. There we go. Um, once that's out, the firing pin will drop right out. Um, so your firing pin will have a spring on it. Um, and here is your 180 firing pin and this is, um, the new firing pin. So the difference, um, in the new firing pin is that it will have a, uh, a forward, uh, shoulder and a rear safety shoulder. And that rear safety shoulder is what is going to stop the firing pin from over penetrating um, in every circumstance. Um, so if, if the 180 pin has a weak spring or something like that, there's a chance of, um, over penetration. Um, now there no longer is. The other thing we did was we made the back end of the firing pin here a little thicker. So if you assemble it without the spring, there's absolutely no way you can put the fi or the firing pin retaining pin in the wrong place. Um, which was the case with the, uh, with the old system. So what I'm going to do is, uh, get rid of my 180, uh, firing pin and, uh, put my spring on my new SRV2 firing pin. Um, and I'm just going to put that back in like that. Now what I do is I basically push, uh, the bolt and my thumb together. So I know the firing pins lined up and then you can just give that a little little smack. Um, and there you go. The kits that you, uh, would have gotten the mail or a kit that you can pick up from your local dealer will have the instructions in it. Um, and also it'll have a spare spring and a spare retaining pin. So sometimes if you punch these out with something extremely sharp, you may damage, um, the little, uh, the little claw here, but they are pretty robust and that's pretty much it. So what you want to definitely do is you want to make sure that uh, when the bolts close, you have firing pin protrusion, so you can feel that. And you just want to make sure that your firing pin, retaining pin, little claws there aren't damaged. And that's pretty much it. Uh, nothing to it. There we go. Together. When you put your, uh, or when you finish your field strip, what you should do is a quick function test. The easiest one to do is rack your action, point your uh, firearm in a safe direction, and pull the trigger. Hold the trigger to the rear. Rack again, let the trigger go to hear that little spring bounce, and then pull it again and make sure you hear the, um, the hammer. And that's your function test. That means you've assembled it correctly. If you're looking for a new SRV2 firing pin, you can get one by contacting us through our uh, website. Uh, just hit the warranty page and there is a form dedicated for firing pins. Um, the other way you can get a firing pin is hit up your local dealer. We will be shipping uh, firing pins directly to dealers as well. Okay, let's go hit the range.